Good afternoon. Thank you for coming back. This is module eight, Microsoft Word 2019, creating documents with Word 2019. This is part two of four. I told you last time when we were going to come back, we were going to start with saving a document. So let's go ahead and get that started. So you want to save a document. To store a document permanently, you must save it as a file. When you save a file, you give it a name called a file name and indicate the location to store the file. Saving a file allows you to close the file and open it later for editing or printing. Save a file for the first time using the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar or save the uh, Command, uh, save the command or the save command on the file tab. There we go. Assign a file name and a file location to the document using save as dialog box. Normally, if you're going to use the save as, you're either going to change the format of the type of file or you're going to, you've already saved it in one location and now you're trying to save it in a different location. All right, save as dialog box buttons. So you have a back button, you have forward, up, to, organize, new folder, and change your view. These are all save as dialog box buttons. If you use the back button, you navigate back to the last location shown in the address bar. If you do a forward, navigate to the location that was previously shown in the address bar. Up to, navigate to the location above the current location in the uh, folder hierarchy. Organize, open a menu of command related to organizing the selected file or folder, including cut, copy, delete, rename, and properties. New folder, create a new folder in the current folder or drive, and then change your view, change the way a folder and file information is shown in the uh, folder window in the Save As dialog box. Click, uh, click the Change Your View button to toggle between views or change the arrow to open the uh, menu of view options. So we're back to that document again where we've entered the to and the from and so forth. So this is a memo that we're looking at, and this will allow you to uh, make some changes to it. If you notice, it used, uh, it used uh, spaces to even everything up. So that way everything lines up going down the line. It looks a lot neater than just putting it off to the side. All right, so methods for selecting text. Any amount of text, you can drag over the entire thing. In a, a word, you can double click on the word and it will automatically highlight that. Align the text, move the pointer to the left of the line and then click. Or if it's a sentence, press the uh, hold control. So in a paragraph, triple click the uh, paragraph or double click with the pointer in the left of the paragraph. As you can see, you can highlight several different sections and it only gets larger. I'm not going to read the rest of these, but you get the point. All right, so it includes the most commonly used text and paragraph formatting commands in your mini toolbar. Now the mini toolbar have are set up in groups. So you can go to that particular area and then find what it is that you're looking for. For example, the text that's highlighted here, they decided they wanted to do bold. Now you can always right click on that and you'll get this little mini toolbar that pops out. And it has some of the commands that are most commonly used. And that's how you would, uh, that's how you do your selection. On this particular one, it's pointing towards the B, so if they wanted to bold it, they could. Or you can hit Control B, and it will bold that same text. 
All right, so we have some buttons on the mini toolbar. Let's talk about these real quick. As you can see, there's a several things that you can do with that little mini toolbar. You can uh, change the font size, you can make text larger, smaller. Uh, you even have the ability to copy the format applied to a selected text and add it to a, a different piece of text. And uh, you can uh, also apply a style to the text. And there's the usuals, the bold, the italic, and the underline that you can do. You can even highlight it or change the text color. So, and add bullets if you like. So these are all of the buttons that actually exist on that mini toolbar, and they do come in handy. Word zoom feature enlarges the document for close-up view and reduces the document for overview of the layout. Use the tools in the Zoom group on the View tab. Now, if you look down in the bottom right-hand corner, this is where those tab buttons are, okay? I use that slide bar religiously because I have old eyes, and sometimes I need to increase the size so that I can actually see what's going on without breaking out a magnifying glass. <laughs> Document properties in the backstage view. All right, so the backstage view, you would hit that little arrow that's up by the file tab, and that will take you to the backstage view. This will allow you to do several things. For one thing, it's gonna bring up a print uh, view copy of your document. Uh, that's what you're seeing here to the right. And this will allow you to see exactly what's gonna be sent out to the printer but uh, you can do other functions from this backstage view. Using the Word document views, you have your print layout view, you have a read mode view, you have a web layout view, you have your outline view, and you have your draft view. All right, so let's talk about some quick uh, keyboard shortcuts. Control X is your cut, Control C is copy, Control, Control V is your paste uh, text, Control A selects all the text in the document, Control S to save. These are probably the ones that you want to commit to memory because it makes things a lot quicker for you. All right, so cutting text removes it from the document. Cutting text uh, is placed on the clipboard in the temporary storage and area for the text and graphics or cut or copy from a document. You can also move text using the drag and drop method. The uh, keyboard shortcut for a command appears in the screen tips. So it's gonna remind you what, the, what those are, but uh, you need to commit that to memory because it's gonna help you. All right, this brought us to the end of uh, part two, uh, we're going to start part three, and uh, we'll see where that adventure takes us. Thank you.